this is this is such a special school, and there's so many special people. Um, it's a little overwhelming. I think that's what get gotten to me. Um, this guy's going to be really mad at me, but I'm going to ask uh, Bo Dixon to stand up for just a second. Yes. Um, I am <laughs> <laughs> Bo, Bo came here 37 years ago, and uh, he basically brought a motto, and the motto was, we're always going to do what's best for kids. No matter where we were, no matter how big a crowd or small a crowd, it was always what's best for kids. And he turned this place, I felt, uh, into something so special. A lot of schools call themselves family. We were a family. So I just felt I just wanted to just tell you thanks. That was great work. Thank you. Thank you. I'm honored to introduce Marty. Really honored today. I'm going to get some help. Mm -hmm. um, I, one, one helper will be somebody that played football and basketball with Marty for 1,500 hours. <laughs> um, another one is myself. I'll, I'll try and pitch in. And the third one is the President of the United States. Um, Bob Bradway, only Bob Bradway could do this. Bob Bradway somehow got into the White House, not physically, <laughs> talked to the President, and the President said, you get this to Jack McMullen exactly the way I told it to you. I, I mean, that's why I'm so scared. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, the first part of this is describing from the President of the United States, Barney Nesbitt. Mm. The President begins with, Marty, you have a good jump shot. <laughs> he says, Marty, you know how to get open. He says, Marty, you can really play some defense. And then he kind of switches it around a little bit. <laughs> so, so, Marty's getting increasingly slow. <laughs> I beat him in a hundred yard dash. Is that true? I'm pulling a hand. <laughs> oh. And then he says, he's so slow that he can no longer guard me one on one and I can go left or right. <laughs> I say to the president, you never could go right. <laughs> says this, Marty. He says, uh, you're a great athlete. You're a much better person than you are an athlete. <coughs> you're, you, you've got a wonderful, uh, an amazing um, brain when it comes to business. Uh, you are the ultimate people person. Uh, he said, you're a phenomenal husband and dad, and you and Anita run the nation. Uh, and he said... And he ended up by saying, you're the best of friends, like one of the greatest friends. And uh, coming from the president, <coughs> that's just amazing to me. That's just incredible. So he's the first one that helped him. The next one is a teammate. And everybody can guess who this might be when it's over. Um, I love this. I thought this was, well, I cry. Well, I cry easily, but <laughs> this, this was good. Marty Nesbitt, my teammate. My, my thoughts on Marty, my teammate, I love this sentence. My thoughts on Marty, my teammate, fall far short of Marty, my friend. I was the ultimate white, skinny, country bumpkin. I was the one that added white, skinny. <laughs> Never taking sports that seriously. And then I met Marty Nesbitt, and everything changed. Marty showed me a whole new side of sports and a work ethic second to none. He brought a dedication, a competitiveness, and was the leader by example. I never had seen a commitment like this before, and I would go as far as to say that Marty brought a whole new culture to our teams. Marty taught me to dream big. He interjected the concept of winning championships and the loftiest of goals. 
he wouldn't settle for anything less. I was not that confident, and I was not that bold yet. Yet. I needed a role model, and I needed a direction. I learned to work hard as possible to support Marty's goals. My primary motivation was not winning. No, my primary was much deeper than that. My primary goal was to win Marty's respect. My focus, my goal, was to grow closer to my two teammates, to my, to my teammates and earn their respect as well. I developed a new work rate because I simply never wanted to let my teammates down. My teammates became my best friends and incredibly special to me. The obstacles, selfishness, greed, and politics that seemed to develop in all groups and teams never developed in ours. It simply never existed. I learned so much from Marty, and I hope he learned something from me. Finally, <coughs> Marty Nesbitt taught me joy. <coughs> I have tried to live my life in that joy. Boy, that's nice. Nothing is ever so serious that we cannot laugh and cry together, go forward together, care, support, and love each other. Very sincerely, Todd Alexander, the Big Country Pumpkin. <laughs> going to have you sit right here, but I can see you better. Yeah. Good. And I wanted to be able to see your face. Um, my ride out here today, Marty, in a, in a oh. commercial plane. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I took my shoes, I took my belt off. I couldn't get my thing luggage up top. There was a giant person sitting right next to me. It was crowded. The plane, the plane left a half an hour late, and I was thinking of you driving around in Air Force One. And then, my wife and I visited all the kids over the holidays, and uh, we were staying in. I always get the. I think I was getting the number. Is it Motel 169? <laughs> Six? No. I don't know. But you know what I mean. And, I, and Marty calls me from the Lincoln bedroom. <laughs> and, uh, and so, you know what, Marty? I haven't done this for 33 years. I'm going to give you what to crack. What to I uh, like everybody who's ever seen Marty Nesbitt play, especially you guys that have played with him. Anybody that's ever seen him play, I want you to stand up. If you've ever seen him play, don't stand up. Somebody help Bo, please. <laughs> All right. Now, stay right there. If you ever saw him loaf in a game, sit down. <laughs> Marty, I thought, I thought everybody would remain standing. <laughs> they see, they, my kids see me. They come on. Yeah. <laughs> if you've ever seen him not play 100% sit If Or I think I've screwed that up. <laughs> if, yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> you can sit down. <laughs> I need to tell this to you. Uh, I've been coaching for 45 years, and I've coached in three states. When I did the numbers, and I've coached 2,000 kids. <coughs> Marty Nesbitt was the hardest working athlete I've ever coached in any state anywhere at any time, day in and day out, practice setting games. And uh, I, think, I think that's amazing. His stats, you can, you can read the stats kind of 
you know, on the on the on the plaques. And they're 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 amazing. I mean, you know, the touchdowns, the yardage, and all that stuff. Um, and he certainly brought that to our team. The way he played defense and basketball, that, that's what he brought. But um, there were there was there was something else he brought, and that uh, that was the work ethic. That was. He was instantly respected by his teammates. And then guess what happened? His teammates wanted his respect. But he put the bar up, and they attempted to reach that bar because that's the way he was playing. And amazing things kind of happen when everybody on a, in a group respects everybody else in a group. What happens is you go to the next level from respect to caring about each other. And from there, you go to friendships. <coughs> and from there, you go to best friends. And this team was never afraid of the L word. From there, you go to love. And if you've got a group who respect each other, and you're best friends, and you love each other, amazing things happen. And that's pretty much what happened. Was there talent on this team? Oh, was there talent on this team? Well, Kevin, it's good to see you back there. <laughs> there was talent on this team. But you know what? That's not what it was about either. It was, it was talent on the team, but they played so hard, and they played so smart, and they played so unselfishly, and no one cared who got the credit. And that's really what it was about. And that's what Marty's about. And that's what those teams were about. It was amazing. Now, when I want to mention something else, um, and it took a little courage to, whether I was going to say this or not, but I'm going to say it. These teams and these boys and these parents were colorblind. Completely colorblind. And I, I wrote down a couple families here, like, um, for example, the Lawrences, the Fouts's, the Gardners, the Crawleys, the Oh, Daniels, the Richardsons, I, I could name 50 families like that. And it didn't matter. Nothing mattered except these friendships and how much they cared and how much they loved being together. I couldn't get them to go home at night. <laughs> they would stay in the locker rooms and talk. And uh, it was amazing. It really was. And I think sometimes when you turn on your television today, if, you, if, if the world could see what these kids were like, um, there'd be like zero racism in this country. That's how amazing they were. And I'm really proud of them for that, just as much as anything else. I'm going to end with this. Mark, Marty, thank you for enriching every team you ever played on. We love you. And I'm going to end it with this. This is the last time I'll ever have a chance to say, Nesbitt, get up here. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, everyone. It's so fun to be back and to have my family here, Anita, and uh, three of my five kids, uh, Nesbitt Nation. <laughs> That's what the president was referring to when we said we need a nation. And they call us Nesbitt Nation. Uh, it's, it's really nice. And Anita was actually in from uh, New York, but she was here with Roxanne and Xavier and Zia. Uh, I tried to convince Anita that she didn't need to come, but she's, she's always showing up for all of us, so appreciate that. Uh, my two oldest, Alice and Maxine, are in college, so they have things to do. <laughs> I don't have much to say, uh, except that uh, coming back to do this uh, brings back so many fond memories of my teammates and friends and coaches and teachers and administrators and you know, some, of you, some of whom are, are here tonight. And all those memories are born from uh, a terrific community of people who, uh, who make the whole notion of a Hall of Fame that recognizes uh, an individual seem inadequate and, and even silly when I kind of think about it. Uh, because when I reflect on our teams, I don't remember being very good individually at all uh, at anything, only just good enough just good enough to do what I was supposed to do. But I also remember a bunch of other guys who were just good enough 
to do what they were supposed to do. Uh, and uh, it was never about me, uh, it was always about us. It was never about an individual, it was always about us. Uh, let, let's face it though, Mike Crawley did win the state track meet. <laughs> <laughs> I've known Mike for almost 40 years, and uh, he always says, we want to stay. Uh, he never says, I want to stay. Uh, he only talks about us. Uh, and I remember uh, racing to the other side of OSU's campus after we won the state track championship to watch the baseball team try to do the same thing. Uh, uh, we, ra we didn't have any time to celebrate because it wasn't about us. It was about us. Uh, and I remember looking up in the rafters, St. John's Arena, I guess that was 81, uh, and seeing all the faces of the entire community uh, in the stands, uh, and thinking to myself, uh, wow, this really is about all of us. And so it goes, I think, with life, and travel through this whole journey as a community, as we become more broadly dispersed over time, but it is always about us. Uh, occasionally, the group of us will get together to recognize an individual for some accomplishment, give him or her some honor. But that's really no the excuse, an excuse to celebrate us. Because what is any individual accomplishment in a sport but the manifestation of teamwork? coaching, practice, and chemistry, a manifestation of us. And what is any individual accomplishment in life but an expression of what one has gathered from others, families and friends and teachers and mentors. And so I thank you humbly for this accepting, this uh, position of being the excuse this time to celebrate these teams in this community and to celebrate us. So thank you.